good day good day today is Tuesday and we are taking a look at the new listings in Fort Collins today and one of the places that you'll find it will be in Northern Colorado Daily Homes so let's take a look there are 50 new listings we have one attached at 205 and then there's a whole bunch and I want to point out to you that there are some of them that are already under contract and they were just listed within this last week so there's a nice range going up and you can see all of the ranges are pretty well representative until you get up to 700 and then it jumps up about 500,000 to over 1.3 million. Now let's go take a look at the map and I need to do a better job of this. We have one clear up north and then they're just spread out all over. This one down here is in Ptarmigan and then there's one on Triangle. So let's go take a look at the details, and we'll look at, here's only one, it's a sold as is cash only, so it tells you that it has a lot of work that it needs to be done. Hartman at 139.9, Martinez Street, and there's no garage on some of these, at 145, two car garage in West Laurel, no address, no pictures, another one, no pictures, it's kind of a pain when there's no pictures, because that's what we all like to see. English Court in Fort Collins at 179. It's a two-car attached garage, three-bedroom, one-bath. Um, now we go up to Orchards, a one-car attached garage, four-bedroom, two-bath. It's kind of interesting. There's no-car garage, one-car attached garage on West Lakewood. Lakewood's kind of a, a fun little street, and it's near the campus. Uh, it's great beginnings, fantastic light. And, oh, there we go, some nice inside photos. And it looks like it's just a nice, clean little place. Dalton at 190 is a four-bedroom, two-bath, one-car attached garage. Colony at 195. At one time, I think these used to be just all electric. I'm not sure. Actually, this almost feels like it was belonging to friends of mine that I used to know. Or uh, used to visit there. There's another one on Laurel with no pictures. One on Moyer at 200. Uh, one of the things I want to show you before we get too far into this is I don't like Zillow for looking at houses. However, I do like Zillow for looking at trends. This is a 10-year trend of housing prices. So if we go back to August of 2001, <clears throat> and straight up, it went straight up. Here's 205. And then 206, so we had a, an adjustment. Fort Collins probably felt the adjustment before Loveland did. And so it kind of stayed stable, but look at the general trend. That line is still up a little bit. And so if you take a trend line and go like this, and for those of you who like to trend, if you invest in the stock market, there's a bunch of line names. At the 3% increase, it's still going to come up. So right now, with interest rates being good, home loans being good, it's a great opportunity to consider investing in something along these lines. Now, we just keep moving up. We're now into the more of the three-car. Well, I say that, and then we go into a two-bedroom. But a, And then here's a Nancy Gray with a one-car detached. Interesting. I thought these all had two cars. Um, I guess they're hoping that you'll walk to King Supers. Morgan, three-bedroom, two-car. There we go. Bluegrass in Fort Collins. Stagecoach in Fort Collins. And as I was saying, it's a great time to be a homeowner. It's also a great time to be an investor. And if you have four mortgages already, and there are those of you who do, then um, there are places, lenders, that can now sell directly. And so you don't have to um, worry about getting that fourth mortgage, fifth or sixth or seventh mortgage. Isn't it interesting how many of these didn't have pictures today? We're run, starting to run out of time, so let's go take a look at that nice one at the end of this, the one that's priced over a million dollars. And yay, there are pictures. Um, it's on Fossil Lake. It's on 0.54 of an acre. It's attention to detail, a two-story kitchen with oversized island with black walnut floors. Uh, has five bedrooms. I'm not quite sure I understand that picture. Uh, oh, I guess it's a picture of the office. It looks very modern to me. Oh, come on. All right, let's just go take big pictures here. Wow, it's very modern, but very nice, too. Um, 
and interestingly enough, I'm more of a southwestern girl, but I like this quite a bit. It's got some of that uniqueness that happens there. Look at that table. Look at the settings. I think that's a great price. Um, look at that shower. You have your rain shower. It's kind of a double-headed shower. Um, some great views. It looks like it's a metal roof, which is nice. And then you have your theater area and your downstairs serving area, I'm assuming, and your workout room. So it's a great house. That's the last house of the tour today. Um, lots to see, and so give me a call if I can show you some of the other properties or if you have any questions about investing in real estate. Thanks.